Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, as a disclaimer, I'm going to ask that you excuse the sound of the fans in here. It's summer. Uh, I told you last year how hot this room gets even with AC, so I have to excuse that. Anyway, this is the week 15 and week 16 update. Um, you haven't even seen the week 14 update, which I'll probably post before this one. I'll try to post it before this one, but they're going to be like back to back and I missed doing an update last week. Um, and there is a reason for that. So let me go over my stats really quick. Starting weight was 311 pounds on February 11th. Uh, my, and that was the, my pre-op uh, visit. Uh, pre-surgery visit whatever uh, my weight was 305 pounds on February 18th um, and that was the day of surgery and today is June 13th and my weight this morning was 248.6 which brings me down to 62.4 pounds um, just as a disclaimer, that has been my weight for the past week or so. There's a reason for that. So, after I film the week 14 update that you may not see before this one, um, I was, I've been having problems with my hydrantinitis under my arm. Um, I might link the whole video that I did on hydrantinitis to this one, but I have what is basically termed, what is it, like Pasha syndrome. Anyway, it's a combination of hydrantinitis, acne, and pyoderma gangrenosum. So I've missed a couple doses of my Humira in the past couple weeks, and that has caused my all of those things except for the pyoderma to predictably kind of flare up and it's the hydronitis is what's really been a problem for me um, under my arms you can see I have it bandaged under there anyway it's been really painful for most of last week and basically most of this week I haven't been able to move this arm because of the hydranitis and I was hoping that losing as much weight as I have would help with flare-ups a lot but I'm not there yet I think I need to lose like you know closer to another 50 pounds before it really calms down um, so I have not worked out this week because of the pyoderma and me not being able to move my arm and basically weight loss kind of well it greatly slowed down uh, because I wasn't working out um, so it's been like exactly a week since I last exercised uh, I've been mostly just working from home and kind of just staying in the bed when I didn't have to move I haven't even been cooking dinner that's how much pain I was in I think that's probably the culmination of the update um, I am recovering from this flare-up. I'm taking my Humira now. Um, I think I have eight shots downstairs or seven of them when I'm only really supposed to have four right now. So I need to catch up on some doses uh, because I missed them. So lesson learned, take your medication. Um, I do weekly injections of Humira to try to keep the flare-ups from happening but I've been negligent in doing that and so hopefully now I can um, move forward and just continue my working out and eating right that's pretty much it so this is the week 15 week 16 update four months post-op 60 plus pounds now and I will see you guys soon I am trying to get better but I've just had some really extraordinary circumstances and just watching the news everything that's going on I've been really depressed and yeah kind of feeling it so anyway I'll see you guys next week and you guys take care